y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so this is going to be a continuation from the last video that should be up by now of me washing my hair this is a kind of wig prep thing that i'm doing um so yeah the last video was me washing my hair and this video too is going to be me actually prepping my hair moisturizing and everything for the wig application yeah okay so for this, um, you're gonna to wanna to use like whatever moisturizer you use, oil or whatever to put on your scalp. I'm gonna use um, some grease pretty much. I'm gonna use this. This is what I use on my son's hair and works good on his hair. Um, and then I'm gonna use this Ozzy Leave-In Conditioner. This is the spray. I'm gonna just spray this on my hair and you know, to give it a little bit of moisture. Um, and then I have my wig cap, I'm gonna apply that, and then I have a comb for detangling purposes. Um, and then I'm also gonna be using the Scott to be glue, just uh, you know, glue down the wig cap to my head, okay? So we look crazy right now, and I'm gonna be using this mirror because uh, if you saw, this is another shameless plug, um the shot miss a video my contacts ripped in that video and my son broke my glasses but he broke my glasses a while ago i was rocking my contacts for a while um but i can't see anything so yeah i'm gonna be using this mirror so i can see exactly what i'm doing and everything so yeah i have an eye appointment actually tomorrow um to give me some glasses or yeah, to give me some glasses. So yeah, we'll, sh we'll be able to see shortly. Okay, so I'm just combing the hair out. Just combing the hair out. I got a little TWA now. My hair grew out a lot, a lot. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna be applying this grease to my scalp like kind of messily i just want to get it on and then once i get it on i'm going to um just rub it into my scalp so i'm pretty much just parting my hair off as you can see and just applying the grease straight to my scalp and this one claims it's it's a super grow formula uh, but you know my son's hair his hair has grown really fast since birth so i don't think this really does anything but i use it on his hair every time i wash his hair i normally wash his hair at least once a week uh, because that's about the time that the style needs to be taken out so yeah i'm really just part of my hair like really randomly and I just wanted to just get this on my scalp. Not too much though, because I don't want my hair to be like overly greasy. I just want it to be enough so that it's moisturized and so my scalp doesn't itch. If I'm breathing really hard, if I'm breathing really hard, it's cause I can't breathe. <laughs> um, me talking and moving takes up a lot of my energy now. So I apologize if my breathing is coming off real heavy on camera. Whew. It is what it is. So I'm just gonna continue to put this on my scalp, kind of in like random places. And then I'm just gonna like rub it in. Make sure you, you don't neglect your crown area because your crown area normally well, I know at least for me, the crown area is the driest part of my head. And it's the part that normally gives me the most problems. So I like to pay a little more attention to that specific area of my head. Okay. So now I'm just going to rub my scalp, distribute the product all over. Cool. This is really simple, like for literally lazy people, um, I literally do the bare minimum. And as you can see, my hair is growing, but your hair, I mean, this is your hair is gonna grow anyways. It's just, I don't wanna say accelerating the process, but 
Miss Helping. I'm gonna go on with I wanna go on with this oil too, this mega thick oil. And I just wanna put I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to my scalp as well because my scalp is prone to like suck up all the product and be dry within the hour. So I wanna make sure that I don't have any problems as far as itching is concerned or anything like that. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. This may seem like a lot to some people, but like I said, my scalp soaks up products. My son's too. Like I can really moisturize his hair and everything, moisturize his scalp, and his scalp will be like dry. Like I didn't put anything on it. It's kind of annoying, but you know, gotta deal with it. Okay. So I'm applying this like the same method, just like real messily around my head. And then I wanna put a little bit on my edges too, just to keep those moisturized as well. Because we all know wearing wigs, not taking care of your edges, will cause your edges to disappear. So we wanna make sure we take care of the edges too. Cool. Okay. Now I'm just gonna spray this leave-in conditioner all through my hair. I actually wanna, it's really watery. I may have to go on with another leave-in. I hate these spray bottles. They're so annoying. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit on my mirror. That's okay. I'm not gonna worry about that. Actually, I wanna go on with another leave-in or another conditioner because this doesn't seem to be doing enough for me. So I'm gonna go on with another one. I'll be right there. So I'm just gonna go on with this African Pride Olive Oil Anti-Breakage Formula Leave-In. I'm gonna go on with this and apply this to my hair as well. Like I said, because I want my hair to be really moisturized. Um, not too moisturized, but moisturized enough so that while it's under my wig, there is still, you know, I won't have to worry about it being dry or drying out and breaking off and stuff. So, yeah, that did it. Cool. We are nice and moisturized now. All right, now for putting on this wig cap. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna take a cotton pad and some alcohol and wipe my forehead because I know I probably got some of that oil on it. So I'm just gonna clean off my forehead so that the wig cap sticks, but I'm trying to avoid my edges. I'm gonna get around my ears too because alcohol can of course dry your edges out. So we just want to get the area up right in front of the edges and clean that up. Cool. Let this dry. Another cool thing about short hair, I could just pop the wig cap right on and go about my day. Normally I um, will flatten my hair down, like put some gel or something, but like I said, I don't want to really risk drying it out. The gel I would use is the wet line. And we all know that gel is crispy crunchy. So I'm just gonna apply the wet cap right over my head. With it being wet, cool. Now let's apply this thing. And y'all know, I do the ball cap method. Whew, I cannot see. Okay, let me cut out my eyes, Lord Jesus. Cool. I'm gonna cut my ear tabs too. Well, not ear tabs, but I'm gonna cut holes around my ears as well. On both sides. All right, so when I cut the wig, I start in the middle and uh, cut upwards to where I feel like it's a good stopping place. And then I pull back the excess parts because these are really covering up my whole forehead. You know, I got to be 
uh, spray drips down. So I just pull, I just pull the weight cap, I pull it back enough, and then I just go along this cut. Then the air tabs, I pull those up and be like that. It's fine. I really, I'm putting on a, a T part wig, so really I don't need the whole amount, the whole wig um, cap, um, as far as like the side of my ears, my ear tabs and stuff. But we're gonna um, just use it anyway, just because I use the same method every time. Okay. Pull this up. Cut. It's still a little sticky, but that's okay. I'm just trying to get this down because we're supposed to be leaving. My husband's gonna get here in a little bit and I'm just trying to be ready to go. So, pull it back and cut it. Okay. This ain't the best application. And then, <laughs> it's fine. We're not tripping. We're not tripping. Okay. Cut this excess wig cap off and we're good to go, ma'am. So I'm just gonna wipe my forehead again. I'm gonna wipe my forehead again with some alcohol so that when I'm ready to put my wig down, it'll go down flawlessly with no problems. And then also clean up this excess got to be spray <clears throat> where is my scarf then i'm just gonna go ahead and just when this dries down just take my scarf tie it down so that it stays and then when i'm ready to put my wig on i could just plop that bad boy on my head and call it a day go ahead and tie this this ain't gonna stay on my head long, really. I'm about to go um, pack the suitcase and I'm gonna put the wig on after that. So that's pretty much all I do, like as far as like prepping my hair for when I wear wigs and stuff. Um, of course, if I wear like a protective style, like box sprays or something, let me make sure I'm focused. So if I wear like a protective style like box braids or passion twists or something, it'll pretty much be the same thing. It'll just be like, I'll oil my scalp down and stuff after I finish, you know, either parting my hair or applying the hair. So yeah, you guys, hopefully this was informational in some way, shape or form. I know it's probably gonna be a really quick video, but it's a really simple process. I don't do much because like I said, I'm lazy myself, so yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to become part of the family. And yeah, you guys, I'll see you on my next upload. Bye.